Hi everybody, welcome back to another Steam Deck video, and in this one in particular, I want to show you the experience of playing Fortnite on the Steam Deck. But the way that we're going to be doing it is via Xbox Game Pass Ultimate Cloud Gaming Streaming. In the description below this video, you'll find a link to the instructions on how to get this working on your Steam Deck. It is a subscription service. It costs $12.99 a month in the UK, $16.99 in the US. However, it does have a pretty compelling argument um, and use case scenario. If you are a person who plays lots of different games or wants access to lots of different games on your Steam Deck without having to install them, and you mainly play at home on your home Wi-Fi. So, for example, from my testing, this works brilliantly on our home Wi-Fi. Now, we have below average broadband here. But if I was to play it on my mobile hotspot from my phone at work, it doesn't work very well at all. And that currently, you've got about 400 games you can play on the cloud. Um, and remember, because it's Game Pass Ultimate, you'll also have access to about 370 games on your console. And on your PC, about 447 games. So... You get access to lots and lots of different games. But one thing we do know is you can't install Fortnite on your Steam Deck natively unless you install Windows on a separate SD, a card or an SSD drive or on a dual boot. But with Game Pass Ultimate, you can. Now, I'm no Fortnite expert, so this is just going to be... We're going to have a quick look at the menus, I guess, and then we're going to we're going to kind of jump into a game, and I'm probably going to die fairly quickly. But I just want to give a good uh, impression as I can by you know showing you this on the Steam Deck. To, you know, if you're a really big Fortnite fan and you really want to play Fortnite, um, you know this could be a, a way of doing it on your Steam Deck. The beauty of as well is although through uh, cloud gaming streaming, because it is the console version. Sometimes people might say, oh, oh, it's the console versions, it's not the PC versions. But that, in my eyes, is often an advantage because the games can be um, well optimised for running on a console because they have to. Also, they're optimised for playing with controls where sometimes PC games, if they're not really aimed at console, you know, getting them to work with controls can be difficult. So, um, now, we also have access to all this other lovely stuff don't we that's available in fortnite as well so fortnite creative mode and that stuff that i'm not really sure about um if you're a fan of fortnite you will um so let's jump into battle royale i guess uh, oh solo and then that will give you an idea i do have a soft spot for fortnite although i you know i haven't played it properly in years because it was the first battle royale we had access to on PlayStation 4. So when PUBG came out in 2017, you could only get on PC, and then it came out on. I th I th yeah, I think it came, did. It come out. On, it might have been out on Xbox. Um, but that, but it wasn't available on on PlayStation because PlayStation allegedly have this thing about not. Um, having beta programs or something like that so fortnite was the only one we had and i did get a few um victory royales in fortnite um, which kind of primed me up to for, for pubg well i actually ended up buying an xbox or borrowing my son's xbox console um and then uh and then buying an xbox one s i think from a for, you know for myself um but as you can see i mean it, it's it's zipping along at 60 frames a second i can't really see artifacting um i can't feel much latency in the controls when i press the buttons you know it does seem to be kind of working and i know this is difficult to show on a video because <laughs> you know after the frame rate of the video might be 30 frames a second as well so you, you're not kind of getting that but you know the steam deck is running at 60. let's jump I've got again. I've got no idea. We've got. We've just jumped far away. Can we look around? Can we? No. I wish PUBG was still in um, uh, Game Pass, and they put it in cloud gaming. Because it used to be until it went free to play and they took it out because it was free. And I was like, oh no. I 
I have no idea where I'm going. I don't even know how to pick up weapons. Oh, there's some buildings here. Right, is it? Right, that's weapon, isn't it? I've got no idea what that is. Oh, that's a gun. I'm probably going to get killed straight away here. What's all this noise that's going on? Oh, I'm getting... <laughs> I guess they were NPCs. Were they NPCs. Oh, that was a real player, I guess, probably, wasn't it? Great. Yeah, so there we go. So, Fortnite on Steam Deck, using Get Xbox Game Pass Ultimate highly playable in my um, admittedly not that expert um, opinion when it comes to um, uh, playing Fortnite but it looks great the latency seemed fine um, the control seemed fine um, and yeah so I would say definitely check it out if you go and look at Xbox Game Pass Ultimate um, you need the Ultimate version because that's the one that includes the cloud streaming um, and then get one of the little trials or you can try it out for a dollar for um, a month see if it works with the wi-fi that you have in this in the places that you'll want to use this um you know and give it a go and i think like me you may well become a convert to cloud uh, game streaming so there we go that's enough for me what do you think though put your questions and comments down below if you enjoyed the video hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon